What's going on, our valued It's Content podcast followers? Before we get into the episode, I got something to tell you. Our podcast finally has its first sponsor, Beantown Brew. The go-to coffee if you want to attack your day. It's with a blue-collar worker, the 6-2 to two guy, the guy on the job site busting balls, the underdog, the people that go unnoticed. Beantown Brew is for you, and if you're not drinking it, what the fuck are you doing? Check out Beantown Brew at beantownbrew.com. It's currently not on Online, but it'll be online soon. Keep a lookout for it. Beantown Brew, the coffee for the hard working blue collar savage you are. Now let's get to the episode. It's Content Podcast. We're back with another one. How you feeling today, buddy? We got another solo podcast. Me we and did. you, pal. We really ripped uh, the gym with Darren today. Did a good legs. 8 a.m. gym 9 session. 8 a.m. Got up at 8 a.m. 9 a.m. gym session. Yeah, I was up at like 5 30 wired. Why? I don't what time know. did you go to bed at? Like, like uh, I actually got a FaceTime call at like 10.45 that I missed. From who? Someone. Who? You know. I don't know who. I'm asking. Just someone. And, and, I, was, and I missed it, so I was sleeping by like 10.30. Huh. Good. No okay. Fortnite. That, that's cool. I actually did play a little Fortnite. I came in second. I was screaming. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely very uh, competitive with the Fortnite for sure, uh, which is interesting. Eat the W. Um, you know who did that? Kobe? Jameis, he sucks. Yeah. He sucks. <laughs> yeah. Did he do that in college or NFL? The NFL is on the Bucks. Yeah, he blows. Bro threw 30 touchdowns and 30 picks. That's crazy. Yeah. I think another reason, too, you're always up early is because of the military, you know? I feel like a lot of people don't know about the military. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I know. I know. That was a big pot. Because you're the pop who's in the military, man. During COVID. During COVID. So that's like one of one. Yeah. Talk about like your like experience. Like May 2020, I was in there. Nami, buddy. We had a drive because there was no flights going on. We had a drive from Tampa, Florida to South Carolina. And what was like the boot camp? Columbia. Like Ami boot camp, kid. What's, what's up All with right, these so foxholes? The, so the, so the, fox so the first shit? week, bro, you do um, processing. <laughs> so you're in like these fake barracks. They're, they're barracks, but like they, it's not what's like- What's a weird. barrack? Like dorms? Yeah, it's just dorms, okay. basically, with just all bunk beds. And you're like, like by yourself, though? Or you're in like a big, like, fucking big open- Big bay. It's a big bay. You ever see, like, Full Metal Jacket? You ever see that it's movie? literally that. That, like, literally open that. ass room, mad that, bunks? That, that's literally it. That's literally it. People snoring and shit, keeping you up, like, at all? Um, yeah. Some some people definitely snore. Yeah, you really can't do anything about it. That's fucked. Fire God. You know Fire God? No, I don't know what's a Fire God. All right, so, like, all right, usually- All right, so that first week of processing, that doesn't count. And then you get it. Actually, it does count towards your 10 weeks. You get 10 so weeks. It's 10 in, weeks in boot camp. Army basic training is 10 weeks. That first week's processing. Okay. So it's just like shots and fucking the peanut butter shot. It's like fucking hurts. Like a the bitch. what? Peanut butter shot's thick. What is it's a like peanut butter? It's just like you feel it go. It's just mad slow. Why? What's that for? I don't know. I don't know, but I got injected a couple <laughs> they of just different injected things. injected you couple with shit. A couple of different shots, know. bro. Yeah. Bro, so what? So that, for the first week, then they send you to your... um. Battalion, then it's split up into different platoons. You ever um, walk into a club with a battalion? But there's usually 40 people in each platoon. But during COVID, they cut it in half because they couldn't have people sleeping on top of each other. So I had like 25 people. Okay. So you had like the, you know, the junior version of the boot camp. Kind of, yeah, because they couldn't yeah, yell in your face. Weasel, they couldn't like yell in your face? Nah, they had, like, they still did, but they like, wear a mask though. Much. Yeah, um, the drill sergeants, because you have to understand, we didn't get to go into the real life. Like, we were stuck in this bubble, but the drill sergeants go home at the end of, like, they go home, they work shifts. So they go home and, like, they leave base. So they live in that mm. real world. So they weren't telling us about COVID and all that. Like, you we didn't, knew, know, you didn't know about COVID? Like, we did because everything got shut down in, in March. We went in May. So that April was quarantine. Everyone was supposed to be quarantined, but they were still shipping. They, they weren't going to stop the army. They still had to keep going. Yeah. So that's why there was no planes going out. So we had to drive from Meps and Tam- I was in Tampa because yeah. I went from Tampa who I drove thought, you? Um, just the people at Meps like another drill saw like oh they picked people. you up like? yeah people that worked how long there. was the drive? Um, like six hours damn seven hours You're I forget crazy. about that but so those people like I- I'm actually cool with this one kid Nick Hanlon uh, we didn't we do basic at all together he was in a whole different company mm-hmm. but with that whole drive we became like best friends like that six hours yeah just like a florida kid my age it was That's pretty cool funny i uh, still talk to him though he just bought a house in tampa uh in daytona which is across from tampa yeah no i know COVID. damn COVID boot camp bro that's funny you kind of had the oh my god bro the you don't version yeah well, bro because like when i still went shit though. Right, so i was i was like really training from january 2020 because i was i moved to florida and live with my cousin this he was training for the navy before COVID, bro. This was before, before COVID. Yeah. We went to like Mexico, 
Um, my uncle lives in Mexico, mm -hmm. and then we came back. It was a sick trip, and we just got fucking ripped. Like, yeah. ripped. Like, we worked out. I worked out with him every single day. <sighs> what was your workout schedule then? Monday through Friday. Like, what, though? What were you doing? Same shit now. Like Actually, a little different. Shit, a little no? different. Mostly running, because I was worried about, like, the running. But the, but when I got to boot camp, running was a cakewalk. Yeah, I feel easy. like I feel like that would be the first thing I'd focus on. That's is all running. I was doing, running and mad Because then, then you, when you run a lot, and because when I was, you know, used to be jacked, I used to run day around like two times sometimes, and you realize it's just all mental, bro. Running is all mental. Oh, it is because once you get your breathing one, down, and once you get over. your legs going, yeah, it's once it's, you yeah can power, one, you can power through. That once you're shit. not cramping with your legs or getting shin splints, you're chilling. I'm gonna show you. You ever get the runner's gut though? Like for the first ten minutes, you have to shit or something, or you gotta oh, piss. That That's the worst, bro. You gotta power through that. Yeah, I'm gonna you show get the you. bubble guts. Um, yeah. Well, I get that after. That was the thing with the army. We ran so much. It was always after. Like, everything in me would just go right out. The first, like, five, ten minutes of running, like, especially when you're going, like, three, four, or five miles, like, that's the hottest part. Just rizzled. Yeah, I know, bro. You were jacked up. Look, just Justin. rizzled. Justin. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You ever run? You ever, you ever do running, Justin? You ever, like, get into, like, a running kick? Uh, so I run, like... I probably run like you still run yeah like five or six days a week yeah. wait what and what morning, and the morning, so i run every morning it's just whether i mix and lifting with it or not yeah you jack just rizzled uh justin i still look like that or not yeah, yeah. <laughs> where do you run how often like where like how long do you run for uh so i do it's two miles two miles six days a week it's like a trail or like you just run around your neighborhood no so the, the complex i'm in right now it's nice because it's a lot of elevated hills and shit so oh. it's, just, it's like a two mile elevated run. that's nice and once you get into a routine of doing that every morning <laughs> you know <laughs> just diet what time you wake up what's like your schedule usually so like i'm up usually at like six seven then i'll work out make breakfast and then either hit whatever job I'm yeah doing. that's yeah. nice bro yeah no, i almost got kicked out a few times why you almost, got, you, you, wait, fraternizing. you almost got kicked out of boot camp. Yeah, I almost got ten, kicked in out. In 10 of, weeks, you almost got kicked out yeah, a couple it was, times. It was like week seven. How? Like, fraternizing. Why? Fraternizing. We were at the range. Fraternizing? Like, like what does that mean? Shout like, out to Lacey Tabag. If I showed you her, Lacey what, wait, Tabag. Whoa, 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 her whoa, whoa, Lacey whoa. Tabag. That's her name. Lacey, Lacey Tabag. Tabag. What is she's she? She's from St. Louis. What is she? Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. I'll show you. Want to see a picture of her? Sure. I guess. We still talk here and there. Um, she's actually a gamer now, which is pretty sick. She got kicked out of the military, actually, too. This in boot camp? No, we we didn't get kicked out of boot camp, but we knew like right from there, you can tell that like we weren't gonna last because she's out, I'm out. So I'm like, you know what? It, it didn't all right, show. So can we? All right. Fuck the picture. I don't care about the picture. Right. Can you tell me why you almost got yeah, kicked out? Yeah. Yeah. This is actually give me like a time like a, like is it like two weeks in three weeks? This in? is like, like five six weeks well, in halfway through. Yeah, because they it took them a couple of weeks to merge the girls with the guys into the battalion. So there there was three was three four platoons. One was all girls, and then three was all guys. Okay. 25, 25, 25, and the girls were like twenty. So they divided the the girls up into each thing. Seventy five so, guys and twenty girls. Yeah. Wow. So they divided it up in. You're just mad horny, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So they they put like five, ten, like I don't know, like seven girls in each platoon. So we had some some hot chicks. So were you able to like you know? She, you know what? No, though? no, no, not that. Like, the fact like, that we we were able to riz each other with like no makeup, like she had no makeup, like we look like shit, like legit shit. Right. She well, was what I'm asking real quick before we get into our story, when you're like you know you you sleep you're sleeping in the bunks and you yeah. in a big open room of people like you know. Like some people definitely did. I on everything I love, I never did. You didn't yeah. touch yourself nope, at all. Seventeen weeks, I did. Ah, uh, ten weeks, I made it through. Then got to school, got my phone back right away. You ever heard people doing it? Like nah, the, okay, nope. Thank nope, God, nope. that would be mad. Awkward, some people bro. said they did. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. There's actually, I have a funny <sighs> couple of stories. All right, so this first one, we're talking to each other. You know, we they get introduced, and and meanwhile, the drill sergeants look out for this. They look to see because obviously they were all 20, 20. Yeah, they know. Some people they know, are thirty. They know, yeah, they know. So they play close attention. So keep in mind. So we're talking. A couple of weeks go by. You know, every same group. We see each other every morning. We're having our breakfast together. Like they see that shit. You know. Um, yeah. So we're just like vibing. So the you know? girls would have breakfast with the guys. You guys yeah, would have yeah, breakfast together. Yeah, every morning we would do PT together too. So every morning uh, we'd have to wake up four thirty, be outside by like five. And you guys were just getting your MREs together. You know, what I no, mean? they Chopping would have chow. So the 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 caf, the, not the cafe. The um, I'm blanking for the thing, but basically like the food hall was closed because of COVID. Yeah. So they would. Um, at the food hall, they would make everything and put them in big things, and then um, people from the platoon would go drive, pick it up, set up tables, 
and then they would feed all the platoons. You have to go like in line, so, like step by step, uh-huh. in a certain like fucking movement. You actually have to like move like like left, right, left, like kind of thing. Like uh, yeah, bro, yeah. You have to walk the right way. Um, you walk inside. <laughs> you got to take your hat off. You have to all that shit, bro. That's crazy. Your hat got to go in your right mm-hmm. pocket. Like it's all to a T. Yeah. But I still do this. Like even going to the gym. Like I pack my bag a certain way, so when I get to the gym, I unpack it and everything's in order. Yeah, like they meant to. It's like, the get, little your mind gets trained. But I, like, I, I yeah, it. like I was like that before, but now I'm really like that. Yeah. Like I actually went in my bathroom and something was moved, and I said it to Daniel. He's like, "Yeah, it fell. I picked it up, but I noticed because it was it, my picture was moved to the left." That's I, funny. You notice the little things like little that. anything. That's funny. So I, what happened with you and this girl? You didn't. So I, didn't tell me the story. I got kicked out. So we're getting to know each other, blah blah blah, and like obviously we don't have phones. So like when we go back up to the bay at like seven to shower and get ready for bed and shit, we don't talk. So we would write notes. We would write notes to each other. Like I would. How, how would you get it to her? In person, like in the morning, I'd like slip her a note and she'll read it like later that night. The so, fuck. What? It's just it's like, like passing it's notes. Nineteen like fifties. Well, like, because you have no phone, bro. But like you're you're upright in your family anyway, so it's like okay, let me. I want to talk to you right now. Let okay. me write it and I'll All give right. it to you. Read it tonight, and it kept going on, bro. She was writing shit back. Too. She was writing shit back, passing it, and it was like like tell me more about your life. Like broke broke down like my family tree and like Damn. how my sisters and were. Then, like so, bro, well, how many notes in until you were like, yeah, let's like fuck. We we didn't get there. <laughs> you didn't get we there definitely the were in the laundry room. Were you know? like a sexton on the notes? Like that's what I, that was my question. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. So, bro, listen. We go to the range. So she kept all the notes in her locker. How and long they do, did this they go do on random for? searches? I understand they How do. How long did this go on for? Like weeks or like one week, two weeks, two like, or three weeks? Okay. And my boy Twilly, shout out to Twilly. They used to call him Wheezy. He was playing D one football in Texas. He was doing the same thing with her friend. Okay. And had a girl at home. Sorry, Wheezy. But he don't he don't date that chick no more. He has a kid with a different one. Okay. Um nice. but he was like this twenty one year old kid, he was just benching like fucking three fifty. Just jacked. jacked just jacked. six seven from Texas football player. That's sick. Goat. Um <laughs> Bro, we're at the range. And they do checks. They they like check you down every time you leave the range so no one brings ammo back. Say, they yeah. checked her, she's trying to sneak contraband. They found crackers because you can't bring food into the bay. So they found crackers on her. They're like, all right, bet. Contraband. Like they, they, they like crackers. <laughs> it's just crackers. Yo, I what know. The fuck? But listen, I understand. It's I like, it's that like and drugs. Like, it's bro, like- you don't need to have so many stories, bro. I just, like, <laughs> right, let me finish this one. Let me finish this one, bro. And um, all right, they're like, okay, cool. And then she's like, oh, I got caught. And everyone thought it was cool, bro. We get back to the base. Like, yo, upstairs, they brought up up to her locker and they ripped out everything and like searched yeah. her shit to see what other food if she had in there, bro. So they found all the notes. Oh, shit. Everyone downstairs, but okay, I, I left out this pop. Drill Sergeant Patrick from Atlanta, literally Kevin Hart, might Unk. be funnier. Unk. Unk. <laughs> Has a kid, and he was just always, I was always talking football with him. He kept me posted. He's like, yo, Cam Newton just got signed to the Pats. I'm like, yo, let's go. Damn, that's sick. I'm like, yo, the Falcons suck. Like, he loved the Falcons, bro. He loves Alabama. He's from Alabama. <laughs> But he loved the Falcons. So we was cool, bro. Like yeah. it, he would fuck me up though, because I'd be talking to him like normal. And then the other drill sergeant would see that and be like, yo, you ain't at parade rest talking to him. Like I would get smoked. Because he would fuck me up. He'd treat me like his boy, but then try to be serious. Because uh, like yeah, whenever yeah, we yeah, had yeah. to go pick up Chow, he'd be like, yo, McDonough, like come with me. Like he McDonough. was cool. He was cool. Yeah, they yeah. used to call me the ladies man. Chad the ladies man. <laughs> what? Then Chad the ladies man and then McDonut. For Dunkin' Donuts. Why did they call you the ladies, man? Because I got caught with that. Okay, after you didn't that, finish that story yet, though. I call it, okay, so they like call everyone down. But at the range, bro, he comes up to me. He goes, yo, are, are you fucking around with her? Like, truthfully. The same day? Yes. Or a different day? Yes, when they caught her with the thing. Damn. When they caught her with the thing. He was trying to warn me before they got back to the bay and found oh, the notes. Shit. He goes, yo, are you fucking with her? You I was lied like, to him. I was like, uh, like drill sergeant, nah, like I ain't, it's not like that. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I know you're my boy, but at the end of the day, you're a drill sergeant. Yeah, I can't just yeah, tell you because then I get I know, fucked. I know, I know, but I he know. was trying to save me, bro. Mm-hmm. Sorry, drill sergeant Patrick. Um, goat, I follow him. I still talk to him yeah, here. Yeah, but there. it's also like, bro, what are you gonna like? You said it. He's a drill sergeant. What so am I gonna like, do? I'm gonna tell you. It's you're like, still, I can't bro, trust listen, you, you're right. still an op. I don't know what to tell you. You're still an op. You're right. still an op. You know, I'm sure you're a good guy, but bro. So he did that, and then. Oh my God, bro! Did they he lean into you. Was he screaming at they you? They go everyone downstairs. So all four platoons. It's like mine, theirs, theirs, and theirs. So we're looking across from there. We're all in formation, mad. Shook. So there's a hundred people down there, and only you two are the ones. The reason they brought everyone down, just you. No, they found other shit. They okay, started okay, going okay. through more. But listen, so they're like, "Yo, does anyone want to admit that they've been fraternizing?" I'm like, "Nah." I'm so like, what does fraternizing mean? 
flirt like like having a relationship okay, more than all right, all right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? Yes, like yes, more, yes, yeah. Yo, so they call us out. McDonough! To yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we go in the middle. So there's 120, like 40 people, 40 people, like just mad heads and, and different things. We're in the middle. Fam, they start reading the notes. No, they didn't. They start reading the notes. No, they didn't. They start reading the fam. Of a, in front of the I un- was crying, laughing. Wait, you were laughing, laughing in their face? La- bro, I didn't give a fuck. You know me. I was dying. She was crying. I was dying. Then they was- call out Wheezy. They call out all these other people that they found notes on too with because they searched the whole girls thing. Just and all like, these I fun- want to grab that juicy ass and just Yo, stick it I, in. Fam, the drill like sergeants crazy. were laughing. It was so fun. I was crying. But so I was, was getting it like, smoked. Were you, I'm just like confused. You're saying they're laughing. Like, was it like beef? Like, I'm it's, just it was serious, but it's like, bro, you gotta understand they're humans too. Like they, they rash. What was like the worst thing that was said in the note? Like, were you embarrassed by anything? I don't was, remember. Were like, you like, I really, were you like being like light skinned, like fire and whatever and yes, shit? Yes, hundred like, percent. And like they were like, you know, hundred percent. They were reading it all. Oh, I guess, bro. <laughs> like, yes, like yo, I can't wait to like go to LA with you after <laughs> this. Oh, oh, damn. So, bro, what else am I gonna do? Sit there and cry? She was crying. I was laughing. I was legit she was laughing. crying or laughing. She was embarrassed. She was crying. I was oh, laughing. Oh, oh, I was dying because okay, right. then they start reading the kid wheezies. He's like, <laughs> yo, I got a baby on the way, but. I really wish it was you. No. I was crying, bro. Are you serious? Crying. What the fuck? Crying. Goat. Not the goat. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, the goat. He, he was horrible. just a young kid. He was like not even 21, bro. I know. That's tough. Um, what the fuck? So what? Sorry. So what was the aftermath? What happened? They taped up the windows. Wait a second. You you left something out. You left some. Yeah, yeah. So after that, we were still talking. Because you to told each me other. this earlier. We you were talking it through. I can't. Say, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that on here. But we were talking through each other because our bays. You go upstairs. There's one. Then it's divided. There's two. And then across, you can see there's like a it's, hallway. You said it's a hallway over here for you. But then this is like outside. Okay. Like the the gap. You know what I mean? Yeah. For From people like that listen to audio, building. it's just you know just picture like a U shape and. There's somewhere where you could see each other. There's like a yeah. You there's could see there's each other. tiny windows, but anyways, we were like t- talking to each other through the thing after you guys got in trouble. Yes, and uh, someone nice. a girl snitched, and they came up and wait, they, this happened. You got in trouble again with her after they tried to. But we're like, no, I was denying. I'm like, what are you talking about? So they, we had the whole. There was no windows. They had to tape up all the windows because of us. Damn. That's crazy. Bro, bro, I was like a little snake ball, like in there. Like I was surviving. But like, for example, like the drill sergeants left their truck unlocked. We were cleaning next. They would make us clean their trucks. There was a box of Uncrustables. Give me those. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Give me those. Oh, I was out there man. hustling. MREs, I was selling shit. I walked away with like 300 cash. That's funny, I wasn't bro. like eating these M&Ms. I was like, yo, that's man. why I was getting ripped. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's crazy. It was. Um, so what? They just let it slide and that was it? They like let you guys go. Like yes, did you no, almost so actually this was towards out? the end. Yeah, this was like week eight, okay. week nine. Um, Bro, but then, then, then the last week there was this one kid from uh, Dotson. I hated him. I hated. Him. He was a punk from fucking from uh, Saint, uh, not Saint Louis, uh, Louisiana, New Orleans, huh. punk, like legit punk. Yeah, he just didn't like me. We always like hit heads because yeah. I was like the third best. Like at. Um, athlete, athletic, and the or thing, physical. and the, the two people above me that were fast, they were two kids from Baton Rouge. They were always like talking Baton shit. Baton Rouge. Shout out to my guy Cody. He was number one. He was from St. Louis as well. Um, he always listens to our shit. Um, but <laughs> fucking bro, um, at the end he was like, "Yo, you stole my backpack." My back. I pass out the backpacks. He's like, "Where's my bag?" I was like, bro, well, he was like dead ass trying to fight me and shit. So and you almost got kicked off for two different things. That and then that. Did you that, that was the for last that? week. So listen, listen, then, then that week we graduate and all this shit go through the forge, which was tough. What's um, that? What's the forge? T- uh, like two weeks of like outside. Just, just the last two weeks? And like 20 miles total. Rucking? Yeah. And just like quiet. Like there was the one. Th- you literally are just doing shit all night. Like. There was a one thing where you had to like crawl like fucking a hundred yards in sand while they're shooting these fucking machine guns over your what? head. Yeah, they have the barbed wire over you. Is that yep. real? Yep, that's what Wait, it was. A hundred yards, like a bro, football field, bro. Yes, long. How long does that take in sand? Too? I don't know. I faked an injury. No, you did it. Yeah, I did. No, you yeah, did I did. It. We would do like the relay thing. I was kind of something on my head. I really like had a stinger in my neck. Oh, uh, what is like, a stinger? I, I keep hearing people say this in football and shit. It's like. It's kind of like a, a stiff neck right away, uh, but then it will last a couple days. So they put me in like the. Oh, it sucks. I went to this house thing for like a week. I was kind of shitting bricks because I had no. It was just sucked. Oh, it was a time where I snuck my phone too. My, you snuck a phone yeah, too? Yeah, the drill sergeant let me in. He was like, oh, God, we got to bring you in the cage. Bro. Yeah, I had to run into the cage with all the bags and shit and um, grab something for him. And he knew. 
he knew. Just said, oh, Joe Sergeant Packard. He was like, yo, your bags are in there. So I didn't see anything if you want to check your phone. He literally told me and I did it. Go. I posted it. I posted something else to get me the fuck out of here. No, you did it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro. What if someone like reported that though? He'd be fucked. Um, whatever, right? So you, you almost do? got kicked out. I just did what I wanted, bro. Literally, yeah. I had the discipline, but I d- literally did what I wanted. What about foxholes? What are those? Okay, that's with the forge. We'd have to dig our foxhole. What is that, though? You literally dig like a fucking, like a three feet hole enough for your body. And like, you got to keep God. You're in there with a buddy like this. Literally like and a you're looking out slanted. Yeah, when you sleep overnight, like when I got a guy with a gun, because the drill sergeant will come around, pretend to sneak up on you, and then like you would yell like you're shooting. Obviously, you're not gonna shoot. And then Imagine one of us will sleep. Bags, you gotta eat in the hole and shit. How long you're in there? Overnight and shit. Whole night, like eight hours, six, seven hours. Yeah. Damn the fuck. Yeah, bro, that's horrible. I know. And then you need a battle buddy. Like you can't move alone. So listen, that now that was the last week we graduated and all this shit. So then my school, AIT, was at Fort Jackson too. Mm-hmm. So that drill sergeant drove me. Which one? The one that like didn't fuck with me. Oh. After you graduated? Yeah, and right away he told him right away about the other drill sergeants at the school, like what I did. Oh, and you already put a bad taste in them all. Shout right out away. to Drill Sergeant Kim. Who came at me right away? You fucking was fucking me up. Like, what was he saying? Chinese dude, like real deal. I'm gonna show you him. He was talking shit to you. He's hitting. Oh them. no, they what? hit you. They put hands on you. No, 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 they can't no. Put hands on you. That's why I was like, "What the fuck are you gonna do?" Right. Philip Kim, goat, dead scary. Philly Kim, bro, like dead. Yeah, just like Bruce Lee, like goat. Like this was this was actually during the COVID. So you like him? He was cool because he he came up. He was like, "Yo, you're gonna be a good leader." Like, but at first, that first day, he had to well, set well, an example. God, give me an example of like what he's saying to you though. Right this, when you got the, there, the, the, like that's just in your face, screaming at you. Yeah, yeah. All right, but give me like what's some shit like he's saying to you though. Like, give me an example of like, like some you shit. Tough, he's- like. You want to fuck around and, and, and fuck around with these girls and get on the, like, I'm, I'm like in the, the stands, the push up stands. He's like screaming and like, I, you can't say yeah. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, what? You just say yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And all that. So it's not to get fucking up. So I already had a target on my head right away. Damn. But then end up becoming um, platoon leader and shit. Then I ended up like killing it. That's good. Pretending to be like a fucking fake uh, chaplain assistant religious that sucked. Dude. I was just going to say, so we Bro, because you had to take these tests every week, and if you failed, you get sent to that next class, so you get you get pushed back a couple more weeks. Mm. But I, I fucking made it through, What's bro. a chaplain's assistant? Chaplain's that, assistant. That was, that was your job. So it's like if you go to war, like the priests are very big in the military. Like, religion, yeah. Yeah, religion. And like if you go to war, like I got to shoot the gun because priests can't, can't hold the gun. Can't hold the gun. So, like, the trainer was cool. I was, like, running. You'd have to run and, like, slide, get down with him. And, like, Wait, with the priest? It was sick. Oh, it with was the tra- sick. You had a priest with you or yeah. a trainer? Yeah, slick. A uh, priest, yeah. Just Father Wayne. Because they have you? to do it, too. They have to go oh, through the whole training, damn. too, the so priest. So, what's, like, what do you have to do with them? Like, what do they, like, pretend like there's a there's someone just invaded the fucking base or something and you have to yeah, protect them? Yeah, you have them? to run up, shoot, fucking. The priest is just with shoot, you and grab it actually, shoot, shit? actually shoot and reload and shit. It was pretty what sick. What were you shooting? ARs? Uh, M4s, yeah. What's that? Like a, throwing like a, grenades and shit. It was sick. You throw grenades? Yes, bro. Like a frag? Yeah, all of it. Everything. <laughs> like, you'd have oh, to run. Really? So we'd have you to shoot it and throw it? Yeah, bro. How yeah. many seconds do you have? How, how do you know? A couple. Five. You could fail it, though? Does you, you fail you, it moving? You take it out and then. Oh, um, no. You can't fail the. Like when you take the thing. Oh, God, can you fail well, it? Well, when you take it out and you hold it, it's not going. It's it's when you let it go, that's where you have, you have to throw it. Oh, shit. Because then Damn. the thing falls off. It's sick, though, bro. I know how to take a pot, like a M4 and shit. It's fucked, bro. Um, But yeah, I ended up graduating. Oh, my God. The the girls over there, too, wanted it all fuck too, bro. All in the- What? Yeah. Bro, all in the, the school, AIT. They all wanted to bang. Now huh? they all have kids. It's crazy. They're also in the military. Huh. Wild, bro. Did they want to bang, though, or are you just saying Knock that? Them. I've been tempted to go because they slept on the second floor. I was on the third, and there was been multiple times where I almost went down. Dude, but they have cameras. Sick man, sick. just like bro, just a twenty-one year old kid in basic yeah. training, bro. You know what I mean? It's boot camp, man. That's it was crazy, sick, bro. It I was think sick. a lot of people don't know about all that shit. This will make for some good. Bro, clips. I fucking went to. I've been through hell and back, dude. I have seven different careers. I worked at the Hyatt for four years. Party with the Celtics, like you know what I mean? Yeah, mailman, mailman. delivering yeah. your mail. What else? What else did you do? Camp counselor. Yeah, that sucks, dude. I hate that. I did um, a lot. I did the fucking But I've camp always counselor. been a hustler, though, bro. I've had lemonade stands with fucking Jimbo on Faywood Ave. 
young, <laughs> made 75 bucks each. I fucking did car washes out of some random dude's house. He came out screaming like, yo, this is my water bill. <laughs> <laughs> he used it as water. Yeah, me, That's Nick, and funny, Joe used bro. to hustle, bro. I, I've always been away. Shoveling. I've been shoveling since I was 10, 11. Know, always shoveling needed my own bread. Shoveling was the way to go, bro. Always needed the own bread, bro. Somehow. Knocking on people's doors and shit, asking, and they're just telling like, just like, get away. <laughs> just asking for money. I literally yeah, used I to literally do that. asking for money. Hustling I know, people. bro. Yeah, I, I used to steal, I used to steal the iPhones in, in, in middle school and sell them. Because that's back in the day where you sold a phone, you jailbroke it. It's like, all right, here's 250 from the dude that's about to sell for like 700 Yeah, that's fucked, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, bro. Now, I fucking, I wanted to talk about too, fucking uh, high school. Like high school, like sports and shit. Mm. Like high school hockey and you played football and what else did you play? In high oh, yeah. Freshman year, I went to Fenway, played basketball. B-ball player. Huh? You all the it was all seniors, so I really didn't play. But it was cool because we played some cool people. Dude, when I went to, I went to Latin Academy obviously seventh and eighth grade and um bro i was i think about it now it's crazy because my nephew's 13 and when i was 13 i was in seventh grade and uh i would just like try off the hockey team i remember i was always like an introverted kid i was dead nervous to try out because i'm like these kids are all from dorchester southy west roxbury mm-hmm. i don't know any of these kids i didn't grow up in any of them so i walk in <clears throat> in a jv and varsity tryouts are together so i tried out and um bro i'm in seventh grade so i'm trying out against legit 18 year olds i'm 13 i'm the 18 year old kid shooting on me <laughs> like it's crazy and i like fit okay and then i i made the jv team i started for jv seventh grade then eighth grade year both of us always left so it was just me that's all they had a 14 year old bro and i had a play and I, I i did okay we went like we went like seven and 13 we sucked but like we beat Eastie in the city championship and then i went to Eastie and won the city championship against bla yeah, the next year funny. um but yeah bro high school was dope bro playing sports was sick i mean i, I mean Eastie high is nothing crazy with sports but being able to play with like your friends, bro, beats anything else. It's the best childhood, you know? bro. It's it the is. best. That's what I was saying. I like, always think about when I have a kid one day. I'm like, I wonder how I'm gonna be with sports. I've I never. Know. I was never like overly obsessed with like. It's changing too. I don't know, bro. I don't because I want my kid to go far, but I also like want them to have fun though right. too. You know, I'm not gonna fuck. I'm not like a psycho fucking. You know, sometimes it takes that though, bro. Sometimes no, it, it takes like a psycho parent. Well, look at Chris Gronkowski with his kids, bro. He's out there hitting fly balls, ground balls, but they're go. But they obviously, if the got kids Gronkowski enjoy it too, it's easier. You know, yeah. It like is. my nephew, I I love hockey. My nephew loves hockey. He's in on the ice six days a week, bro. That's how I was too. Five days, right? A week you, at you're least. gonna like you can't force baseball on a kid, and he's just like picking no. daffodils in left field. Like I don't want to be there. I know. Okay, while you were in fucking boot camp, I was at UMass Boston, kid partying with Redler. You know, Nolan Redler. I do. We were there, bro. That was cool too. Experience. That was like right before COVID, actually, when I was nineteen. Because, like, usually after high school, you either play juniors or you go to college. And I, I'm like, I don't have money to play. It was like 10000 a, a, yeah. a year. I'm like, bro, I'm not doing that. Give, gave that up real quick. So I hung up the skates, went to UMass Lowell for a semester, and then realized Lowell sucked. Then I went to UMass Boston. And uh, this is when I'm in, like, my prime time shape. Like, I was going to the Ripped. gym seven days a week, bro. Fucking Literally chiseled. GBF seven days chiseled. a week. Jack. And then I saw these chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I saw these fucking chicks. And um, just a friend I knew was like, yo, like, we need a backup for the college college team and like UMass Boston D3 it's D3 hockey but it's really good hockey it's not like shitty D3 it's like good D3 you're playing schools from Canada and shit and like yeah. New York and stuff right. um and I'm like yeah I'll give it a sh- I'll hop on because I was in really good shape at the time but I haven't skated in like months and I'm like oh, I don't know I'll hop on and see so they had like captain's practices basically and um I, f- I did okay like I just remember the shots being so fast I'm playing these fucking 20 24 year old 23 24 year olds so they play two years of juniors so then they go to college I'm 19 and I'm playing these grown ass men bro and I remember their shots being so hot and fast and I, I picked it up I kept skating I, I caught up to speed and then I ended up like walking on the team as like a third string goalie I wasn't gonna play but got the backpack and shit had the rookie potty bro they made us there was 10 rookies they had like a rookie initiation like the because they literally do that did you get like stamped? no it wasn't like they weren't like fit hitting you or anything but like drinking bro they like it was like because the team's like 25 kids it's like 10 rookies so I, I it, all the rookies got thrown in the basement together and they brought down like the shittiest whiskey bro not jack daniels like like shitty yeah. store bought whiskey yeah, yeah. Um, fifth, like not even fifths bigger. What's the biggest, the biggest one you can get? Like pint, no, maybe. Not a, a gallon. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't a fifth know. of liquor. Or I have no idea. But they were like these big ass bottles, like this big, and it was like, yo, you like you guys two each to each bottle. You have to chug it and chug as much as you can in five minutes. And the person with the most left in it has to uh, 
you we had to like do a skit or something like something Bro. stupid like something whack it was halloween too i was dressed up as mario i remember <laughs> and uh we ended up fair and fine and then they picked one team to win and the rest of the people had to chug the rest of the three gallons or yeah. whatever the fuck it was did you win <laughs> Oh no, we lost. I ended up chugging. I had a pull trigger right away. I threw up, threw it all up, and then we, just invited all the girls we, over we and had a good time. Any chicks at the time. I mean, well, like I was having fun. Them. I was single, you know. Let's see who, Why? you know. I mean, the hockey, you know, girls in college love the hockey guys. You know, it's any yeah. sports really, football. You know, like they get the girls. Tree, right. So girls were always around. Um, but bro, I was never like. You know, banging two chicks in one night Wait, kind of thing. We, we you know, I know some of the guys that were like wild, but at the same time, they were like twenty five, like, and these girls are nineteen. Yeah, I'm like, wait a gross. second, I wait. I'm twenty four now. I'm thinking back to it. I'm like, wait, guys, this is Bro, weird. I'm so. I was about to say, we went to a few college parties together. Yeah, we did. We Merrimack, did. Salem State. Because I was never like crazy into the college. No, but we either. were young though, bro. It's like we, we were literally we were in high school. We were like eighteen. <laughs> but that's the thing. I'm, I'm so glad we did it early, bro. I like I've been we've been drinking since young, so it's not like these 24, 25 are finally getting that college. It's like, bro, I've been going to college parties since like a junior in know, fucking bro. high school, bro. Like, I know. And what's bro, I've always it's funny. I was actually thinking about this the other day because in the last podcast you were like, "Have you been to Manhattan?" And I'm like, I went to a comedy show in Manhattan. I was like 13, and uh, you had to be like. 17 to get in and i pass <laughs> i just, <laughs> just always looked at me. i was like i, I was know, a big kid i know bro. but like i'm just like in college parties the kids would always think like we're their age but i'm like bro i was literally like 17 18 going to these oh, college that's parties. the thing we always grew up like younger than i just always I younger like always younger like that dude in the gym today like love the content like he said what up and yeah. then he's just like oh, i'm decade older than you guys i still don't I know. know what i'm doing but it's like bro you'll never know what new life you're always I gonna know. be figuring out life I, I don't give a fuck who you are you're always gonna gary v always says that it's I so know. true it is even just hearing dana white say that on that podcast bro it's like because uh, we don't know what we want to do but we we know it's something in this space which puts us ahead already bro he's like if you if you fi- the hardest thing in life is to figure out what you want to do or like what like kind of work you want to do i know and then once you figure it out and you just keep working it's impossible to lose I know. You that's why it's, it's impossible. like we still like we don't want to do but we don't we do we do though there's some people that are working fucking nine to fives that right. are like, so like, miserable like, like what we did with the jump from quitting college and quitting the post office and military like that's the hottest part it is that's bro. the hottest it is. part is it figuring is. it out it's like i know well, it like, is luckily we can fucking like monetize making money because it's like what we're what we want to do we're not really making money from acting like we are but we're not but like the only way we're gonna make real money from acting is if we build up our following and platform enough to get casted for a big movie and then they pay you to be there right now if i wanted to go act in like indie films it's like they'll 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 pay you but uh, you know what you you know know why we have it different than everyone bro we have a couple of big stars in our corner Bro, big stars. What's his in name our is corner. Mark Wahlberg. I'm DMing him right now. Look, big, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's just like that dude, Matt Fries, runs his supplement brand. That's what he was saying. That's the dude you showed me, right? Is that who showed me? Fries? No, or he, he, he's on the Colts. <laughs> but isn't his last name Fries? Yeah. Oh, Will Fries. Yeah. This guy's the same last name. That's why I thought it was the same person. But yeah. But anyway, yeah. I mean, that's We what, have it so it different, is. bro. These people who who are, have been these background actors, like in movies that wish to have, like that's their dream. Wish to have the opportunity. Like there's yeah. some actors in some of these big shows that like wish they can have The Rock and Mark Wahlberg follow and send voice notes, bro. No, bro. You know what it's I mean? Crazy. That's how I know it's like we just got to keep powering through that's it, bro. That's it, bro. That's it. I know. It's going to come though too it's just like you said it's just working just gotta keep surviving bro every single month it's literally day by day week by week don't expect anything from anyone and just take the advice and keep rolling with the punches bro it's really it um, prepare to get your heart broken i mean on it who said that d on point go how long are we in by the way justin i'm just curious 35 minutes. okay cool Damn. i wanted to say um have you been to many uh you haven't been to any uh pats parades have you any any bro, sports I parades have, back bro, in the day so being born 99 i've witnessed every big championship every single one i know never been to one parade in my life i don't like i don't like that big setting and especially after the um marathon bomb and my grandma never wanted me to go out like yeah that. i feel that dude there was so when the pats won 2017 that was the falcon super bowl yeah when they won that i was with this is when i was like wicked tight with all the hockey kids we were in the middle of our, big, our best season bro we were like nasty we we're like 14 and one we were like really good we had all the seniors, the Lockheads, Jenga, all those guys. Oh, for high school. High school, high school, yeah, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, 2016 or 17, whatever yeah, it was. I remember. I was in and, um, Sabrina Rizzo. February, February 2017. Yeah, because they the Falcons won. And then they announced the parade. And we all, like, you know, Eastie High guys, you just walk in, you walk out. Uh, people never understood that. Like, you just left school. I'm like, yeah, I mean, Bro, yeah. It was, yeah. It's like, like yeah, not normal, just, though. Kid, I want to go home. I just left. But that's why I, like, I loved Eastie. But, like, I hated it because I, it was just... 
I, I wish I just went to high school and like it was fun and like oh I can't wait for prom oh like I, know, I don't bro. know like someone's that's throwing the thing a about Easty High bro it's like it's not like that but, it really uh, but we wouldn't like be that. who we were if we didn't grow I up know. growing up basement parties and just I like know. selling bud I know. like you know what drinking I mean? behind the Perazzo rink and just like fighting at the feast like just stupid I was shit. just fucking just selling dime bags out of my grandma's old house when she passed away yeah like people would say like school cops aren't normal like metal detectors like, oh yeah we had to go through them every day walking out the doors in the, at, at, I walked in at 7.35 I walked out at 8 a.m. Like, you know, uh, go to fucking, you know, go grab breakfast. Me, you and Marty would leave after first block. Go that grab was breakfast. Fun. That was senior year, no? I think so, yeah. Senior year. To, I remember we went to Nixon. Earth we had a lot of classes together in the morning. Yeah, we did. No, in the morning. Fun. With Miss Coolidge. You know Miss Coolidge? I remember that. Yo, we didn't do, I don't even remember what, what we did in that class. It was like, uh, it was like SAT prep or like Come some on. shit. We didn't do anything though. We sat on the computer. But the, the other whole ones time. either. The <laughs> other, the, the other <laughs> ones too. We didn't do anything. East DI was was a joke, bro. Let's be completely honest. Yeah, you know, I'm proud to have been there. But like yeah. you said, I loved it. But at the same time, it's like I feel like going there made me develop a lot of like half-assed habits and shit. Like I never got like you know what I mean. I was a I was There's a good no, student growing up, and then right. I just kind of slacked you, off you, a lot. You're not getting no education now. No, bro. When I went to college, I was just like, "Where, like, where the fuck am I?" I learned everything all over again. That's why in my head I was like, "East didn't get me ready for college. I'm not going to college." Yeah, I don't want to bad multi East High too much. No, I, I, do, love I do love East High. Like, I just, love East but like, the curriculum wasn't. Uh, it's just the teachers too. Some I'm of the teachers there were my definitely. Kid there, bro, uh, I'm not sending my kid there. Yeah, Mr. Lacaro was drinking uh, soda out of some girl's shoe. I'm like, what are we? What are we doing here? The AP history yeah, teacher. Yeah, like it, they, you know, some he of the was teachers, a prick to me too. He told my mother I was going to be a failure. If you're wondering, some of the teachers do me. Told well. my own mother I was gonna be a failure. I like that. You like that, right? My AP history teacher. He goes, "Your son's gonna fail right out of college." I did. Yeah. So you had the AP. <laughs> I, I, I did. did. I did. <laughs> nah, I didn't fail out of college. I dropped out, guys. But anyway, but he was like just like bad with me, met crazy my mother on like the parent teacher, whatever the fuck it is. So uh, I always I'll never forget that Mr. Lacaro. What never about Miss G? Remember Miss G? I had mm, no. I was in love with her. I used to go up there eat lunch with her sophomore year. She almost got me to go to college. Really? Yeah. That would have been a disaster, huh? Yeah. College almost, sucks, I almost bro. went to Emmanuel, and then I almost fucking, I wanted to go to Merrimack. Yeah. So glad. It's going to be interesting, like, when, I mean, eventually, if I have kids one day, like, to see, like, when the college talks happen, like, what that looks like, because I just, I, bro, I've lost all belief in that, bro. I've lost all belief <laughs> it's in- It's a different world, bro. It's really a different world. So it's like, what do we Who knows do we if do college it? will even be like a, like a, I mean, it's always going to be around, but, like, if it's going to be as pushed on people, as on kids as it know, is bro. now, because, bro, like, there's- so many trades and shit that need people right now and like blue collar shit and especially the world now everyone's starting a company everyone's trying to everyone, everyone, everyone wants to no work on their own actually like put in like the you know, know that kind of work which I mean I don't no one wants a boss with, you know, uh, which world's, is bad world's, either uh, we might not even be able to have kids bro in 30 sick years sick too bro I was listening to uh, uh, bro Dana White is like a bucket list bro like he's he's such oh, the I goat know. bro I can't bro, wait to, just, I can't wait to meet his, his oldest son follows us I know Dana he White, likes all the, the videos second. and he just followed uh, his content yesterday did he really yeah, did, he them. has to see the videos bro well, Dana I tagged White. I tagged him in uh, I seen you tag the son and Dana and then he followed but I mean he probably showed him but bro his mind like I swear to god bro his mindset like he just gets me so fired up. I listen to every single podcast he's on, bro. Like he's so business smart, bro. And he's just like, he's so old school, bro. I love people that are old school, bro. Cause it's like, at the end of the day, bro, it's like, no one's here to save you, bro. Like, you know, like you can talk about your failings, which is cool. Like you people need to talk about your feelings and, and complain and all that shit. But at the end of the day, bro, you got to grab your balls and go get it. End of the day, I'm sorry. You got to man up. You do, bro. And like being a man and masculinity is so like, like looked down upon nowadays, bro. And I'm not saying that it's just the world you should hate women or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but like, I feel like it's pushed down so much, bro. And Dana talks about that so much, bro. I love that. I really do. I know he gave it me the me chills. He gave me the chills when he was like, I was 19 working at the Boston hotel. I was like, damn, bro. I really was working at the hotel too at 19. I know. Isn't that and then crazy? Like, literally the same thing where I seen Kyrie Irving shook his hand, seen Coco. He was like, yo, Easty in the house. Like he was getting me lit. Went up to Tatum. I'm buttoned my shirt because I went to the game before. I was like, yo, JT, can you sign this? JT Stop. was how he old was he? 19? Dying. Fam, I literally tapped him. He looked and then went like... Looked down? He, yo, he, he, he showed me mad love. He was dying. He, he think he was clowning me too because I had the jersey on. But he yeah, signed but it though. Rookie year, I had the first black Celtics jersey with the GE logo right in Lynn. Wow. Kid, you don't know about GE. Ele- electronics. <laughs> <laughs> but think about this. If, if we were... If like, 
if we were throwing a party for ourselves and like some kid had our merch on and tapped and we looked down like we'd laugh too you know? yeah no Do you know but, what I'm but, saying? Like, funny. He, but JT goes like yo this is the craziest shit I've ever seen so I, that's why I can't wait dope. to talk to him and tell him because I know he remembers it's all yeah, he has through. to all, all of it's gonna because no through. one else is unbuttoning a fucking legit suit with his jersey on yeah. I know he has to remember it was like yeah. six years ago but I remember with Travis Scott like he dropped I forget what song I want to say Butterfly Effect where I was just really bumping that yeah and I remember Kyrie Irving he goes yo this is that shit and then a young tut was DJ in the whole party <laughs> oh my and Yo, that's uh, it was funny, a little bro. Uzi do what I want now Damn, I do what I want that's crazy so bro. I always like different times but that night I was like nah I ain't, I, this, I'm not meant to do this hotel job like I need you I need to it? I need to like be in that life like obviously not like an NBA player I know I wasn't gonna be an NBA player I'm not fucking seven feet but, but something I was like I'm gonna do something bro, to the be. funniest thing is when we seen Dan Muller and he said he's like yo you always said you were gonna be famous one day bro cause in the garden <laughs> I remember I used to go three hours early before my shift and just watch them I would walk with my pea coat on had my badge like I was supposed to be there no one I used to sit court side and watch them all warm yo, up that's funny bro what JB smart used to watch them all and um I wish betting because I would have knew who was on and off on the warm ups was around right, right. but uh um yeah bro and fucking i'm glad i worked at the guy i worked two jobs yeah i worked there in the I hotel i always think back to that because i'm like I, a lot of people that make it like all the way they always say like, they always knew they weren't like like everyone else i mean i feel like i had a piece of that but i never like I'm, i don't know i was pretty dead set on just working at massport and like whatever me too um because there was no other vision you know me too but I don't, I'm trying to think if I ever had a moment where I was like, yo, this, like, I can't do this anymore. Well, College, I remember that moment yeah. when I, my fucking professor took my phone and, or wanted to, he put me on blast for being on my phone in philosophy class when I'm paying to be in that class. I'm just like, get me the fuck out of here. That was like the last month of my college. I was like, dude, I can't do this. But working though, I don't, I don't know, bro. bro. You know what's crazy? Know. Think about it. Like your ex put you onto this life. Mm -hmm. Like, this, and then my ex put me onto this life too. That's how I know it's just gonna. It's just meant to be. Like it really is. I can't it's, give her that credit though. No, I'm yours not. Yours was definitely more though. You, no, for sure. But I'm my saying, my ex she, definitely told me to she, download the app. She told me to download right, the app. Right, and my TikTok. ex said, "Yo, you need to become yeah. a creator on the app." I know, I know. Crazy, crazy, bro. Like, crazy, crazy. But that's why I'm telling her talk go, going through. Well, because also too, bro. Like being from here, like Boston in general. Like you don't, you don't go on social media. Like you don't, you, you don't, don't go on. Social it's corny. It's whack. Like you're, you're a clown if you're on social media. So. All that's already built in, and like I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was like, I was, I seen some people on social media, no one that I know now, but like, I'm like, oh, this guy's a clown. Like the social media stupid shit's stupid. This TikTok shit's stupid. But also on TikTok back then, people were doing the dances and shit. Like you know, I was never gonna do shit like that. And but then, Justin, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good, <laughs> bro. So, I, well, do you, did you have to switch the cameras, or does it automatically do it? No, no, it's switching, it's switching. Oh. But, bro, like you said, stupid dances and shit. But then you look at Jack Hollow. Like, his career went from, like, obviously he was blown up. But, like, it wouldn't have blown up, like, that quick. Like, if it wasn't for TikTok, which is I know. crazy. No, I know. What's popping? Like, the, the little TikTok It's things that you can't thing. even predict's going to happen, though. You know? I know. I remember I tried to do a couple of TikToks. Like, the bang it out west. I yeah. think everyone tried it. You know? It was fun. Well, I tried it, too. It was fun. I like some of the dances. I still do them. <laughs> <laughs> it was one pro athlete you think you could take one-on-one. -on -one. Not even just NBA, like any any sport. I was thinking about this earlier. I'm like, this is a good question for the pod. What's one pro athlete one on one you could take any sport? Can beat them in a quick game. All right, so I mean, I guess I I I think I'd check up one on one versus Peyton Pritchard. Shut the fuck up. What? No, realistically, He'd like cook you, buddy. He well, would no, cook I, you. I, but I think I can score. Like I can get a shot off of him. I can't get a shot off of JT. Oh, he's fucking no, six. Yeah, that's what six, I'm saying. Eight, but six, who eight. else? So am I going to tackle Derrick Henry? Come on, that's not going to happen. I think I could pancake someone. Come on, stop it, dude. I'm big. Bro, you are not I got the size a, a right now. That's probably line. the best. A defense alignment, though, bro. Well, no. I'm talking That's about like a, like a small linebacker coming in, you know? I don't think so. Cornerback. Have Kyle dug a blitz from a safety. You probably came and pancake him. I think I could stay on He's my feet. He's a beast, bro. I think I could stay on my feet. He's a beast. Max Crosby. He'd fucking run me over. That's, stop He'd it. run it's me over. It. Well, what other fucking option do I have? But Hockey, that's what I guess. I'm saying. I, I think if I was in net, even now when I'm pretty out of that's shape, I'm getting back in shape. That would but be even a... right now, but that's my best bet, though. Goal. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's my best bet. my best bet. I could stop. I could stop some of these hockey player shots. Come on, these NHL players. That's what I'm saying. Like, Peyton, like, I, he's just six feet. Like, I can get shots off. I can get separate. Okay. I know he plays good defense, but, like. I, I could take out Nick Singh, I think, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, he's not a player, though. I think I'd embarrass Nick Singh. No, like if we play to eleven, I, I, I'm like I'm very strong. I'll win. Actually, it was this is, getting, this is, this is getting clipped. I just hope it's, you know. No, that. it's all good, Nick. I mean, brother. <laughs> I, 
We thought it was a joke. Let's get on the court before the game and, and let's see. Got to get us family passes. That's it. That's it. No, but all jokes aside, though, Nick, if we play to 11, I'm not saying like I'm guaranteed we'll win, but like I think it would be like 11 to 9. Yeah. Playing ones and twos. I'm letting you shoot, too. So interesting. I'm not talking like 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 try hard defense. You know, we got to give a little each other separation. You know, <laughs> if he had JT two on two, who would you take on the Celtics to JB? Yeah. That's a gun. That's a no brainer. Oh my God. We'd beat them. Yeah. We would beat them. Me and JB versus JT and Nick Sang, we'd beat them. I don't know about that. Now nah, we'd beat. Nick Sang's a trainer. You think he plays ball? Come on. You don't think JT's cooking Stop JB? It. And I'll beat JT with Nick Sang in the JT ones. All right. I think that's that's probably that's a good to clip. Wrap this up. That, that is good. That is good. All right. This is a good podcast. Uh, we're working on guests, guys. Uh, what else? What are we coming up? We've got a Charlotte trip coming up. This is going to come out next Saturday. Wait. So what's what's next Saturday? We're going to be gone, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be in Charlotte, guys, when you hear this. Um, and we'll be back Monday for more stuff. But uh, this was a good little solo pod. I uh, got anything, any final words or anything like that? Um, Thank you all for listening as Stay always. Stay tuned on It's Content Instagram. Yep. We're going to start posting more on It's Content Instagram. Three a day. Three a day. And then uh, It's Hope Content merch. Obviously, It's Content. Well, yeah, we got some new, new, new drops coming, hopefully, by um, April. Yeah. It's Content.com. No E. C O N T N T. Um, mid March, mid March, I think. Especially yeah, if we print some good on stuff coming up. We got St. Patty's Day coming up. That'll be cool. Uh, maybe we an do. LA trip soon. So we're working on a lot of shit. Make sure you check out the newest skits on the It's Content YouTube and the newest vlogs. Uh, give it a like, subscribe, comment, show us some love. Uh, and if you've been in the military, fucking quit. At the end of the day, it's all content. It's all content, guys. Yeah. I can tell who's on the way out. 25 show, check the pair. I ain't going home, I'ma stay out. Motherfuckers hate you when they looking for a way out. I just sit back and let it play out. And she gon' let me hit it any day now. What you gonna say now? Love my ex girl got a bait now. But she still.